Hi, my name's Cathy Millett and this week we're looking at how to model bulrushes. So as always we're looking at the real world first. Important to see what bulrushes look like in real life. You can see in all these photos they're really crammed. You get a feeling there's a lot of them. This week we're going to use a series of um, the laser cut minis by Knock. And I find these really good and really useful. Um, well, just generally in, in all sorts of modeling situations. So the first one is just bulrushes and I've got them in N and HO. And the HO scale number is Shilf and it's 14102. And the N scale is 14608. And I've got them in the two scales, not because I'm gonna model it in two scales, but because I think it's useful to have the variety of size. I do find that plants are not all the same size in nature and a bit of variety can really help with your modeling. But these are just cut out. You can see the laser cut pieces and um, very easy to use. So how do we add our laser cut minis? I mean, these are N scale and HO scale bulrushes and they come like this. Well, the first thing to do before you get to your diorama is to cut them out. You need a sharp um, X-Acto knife or something and they've only got a couple of tabs, so just a little cut through, you can normally see the tabs, will release a plant. And yep, yeah, there we go, there's one released. Okay, so we'll do two or three of these. Cause... There's one, two, there's often only a couple of tags, so there's another one. That's the end scale. And actually we'll... What I'm going to do is I'm going to do, um, going to do a, a set where I add a little bit extra resin and you'll see the creep and the effect it has on them. So you can decide whether you want to do your, um, your water before or after you do the edging. And I'll do a set on my O-scale diorama. So these are going to be quite small just to um, show you what happens when the water's already done, which I actually think is much easier. So I'm going to put a couple on each of them. So I'm actually going to cut out four of these. There's one, two tags. And here we go, another tag. So that's the N scale ones. And HA one's a bit bigger, but easier to see. And you do get a few more in a packet. So here we go. I'm gonna do all of these. Now you can imagine you'd need quite a lot of these. You don't get that many in a packet considering the price. So I would say these are quite a pricey way of doing this. And somewhere on here, there's a tag that I can see. Let's just see where it's attached. Okay, so I think it's attached here. Yeah, I think it's attached. That's there. Okay. Oh, I didn't quite get that through. There we go. So there's a HO scale bulrush. I mean, bulrushes are fairly tall when you compare them to people. I think these are quite delicate. I personally like the idea of doing them as one of the last things on the layout, um, so you don't knock them. But sometimes you have to do things out of order because of where you can reach and what else you're gonna put in the way. So there we go, that's them all cut out. So um, the instructions say use a pin, and actually it's a very good technique. So you just pick one up, put it round, um, and you can just bend around the pin. Um, and try and keep the, the bulrush one in the centre because that's generally where it would be, which sometimes you just need to give it a bit of a extra helping hand. So there we go. That is a bulrush done. There's an N-scale one. You can make them more vertical or less vertical, depending on what you fancy.
Okay, so there we go. There's the um, knock laser cut minis all ready to plant. So I'm gonna put a couple, a few on here. I mean, I'm gonna put some other plants over the next few weeks on here so it's not gonna look so bare. So I'm gonna put a few on here and then a few on the other one. So I'm just gonna use tacky glue. So I'm gonna put an, um, half of them on this one and I'm gonna make sure that my, I'm just gonna dip the bottom. You see that, I'm just gonna dip the bottom in the glue. It doesn't need a lot. So if I've got too much, I just wipe a bit off and then just put it in place. And I'm gonna make sure that my bulrush is upright. And that's fine, because I'm gonna put a group of them in there, so it won't matter if it doesn't look quite right on the leaves. Okay, and I'm really glad I did the end scale ones, because I think these open up a little bit too much. And you could do them being a bit more vertical, but I'm gonna put these around the edges, just to add a bit of, um, bit of variety. So next I poured the resin. If you want to know how to mix it, I've done that on a number of videos and they're linked here. It's simple enough to do and I've tinted it with a little bit of Tamiya olive green just so that it's a little bit murky because that's the pond effect that I'm after. So I'm adding water to this diorama to cover the bottom of the bulrushes. In these instances, you know, they poke up through the water, they grow in water. So as a modeler, you may want to show them coming out of the water and show them embedded in it. And this is one technique for doing that. So there we go. I'm just gonna leave that to set up. My O-scale layout, I'm just gonna put a, a pile of them. So same thing, I'm just gonna pick them up dunk them in the glue and in this instance they're not going to be um, they're not going to be anywhere else again um, sorry they're not going to have any resin put on them again um, this is actually finally finished so I can go right up to the edge of the water as if they've got their feet in it really and I don't mind if a bit of glue shows it's about trying to net them through each other so that you hide the centers and then I've got my little end scale ones so there we go. So the one thing I'm not happy is, you can see the pin pricks at the bottom of these bulrushes, which to me is just a little bit of a, um, well, you know, it shouldn't really happen. So what we need to do next is just put some scenery material over to hide these floors. So I'm using floor grout, my normal favorite, and I'm just gonna put it along the edge here. Um, there's already some there, as you can see, from the previous um, edge that I did. So I'm just gonna put it along here, and then I'm going to just use the brush to push it into place. And just wipe it off the um, leaves. There's another pinprick on that bulrush. get a bit in the centre. There we go, I can just feather this away. So now it's just about titivating it so that um, it looks real and I haven't got it all over my um, river. River's not a problem, it'll wipe off that in a minute. And I can eventually turn it upside down and set it. So I'm going to put it around here and just spread it a bit sideways so that it ties in. So now all I'm going to do is um, spray it with some this is IPA and water. Just, it's actually tile grout, so it sets itself quite easily with that. And I'm just gonna wipe it off my river because yeah, I don't want to set my river with any um, horrible grout moments. And it will, I'll polish it up afterwards. I just don't want it to get caught up too badly. And then, even though it's grout and it sets a little, I'm just gonna add some dilute, and this is very dilute white glue, and it will just set everything in place. So I'm gonna make sure that we um, glue everything down. Just make sure it sticks. Yeah, there's a bit that doesn't look particularly covered. 
takes a few grains to get it to stick, but it just makes all the difference between having a pin prick in the middle and not. So there we go. I'm just gonna let that dry up probably overnight and we'll see what it's like in the morning. So here's my final diorama. We've got the pond scum, we've got the deadfall, and we've got a bulrushes, you can see them here. And pouring the resin in definitely hid the pinprick that's at the bottom. So we didn't need to put any extra soil or anything in like we did on the other diorama. Okay, so here's my final diorama with the bulrushes on. pleased with how they came out but they aren't cheap you, you're going to spend five or six pound and out of it you probably will only get a handful of plants so not something where you need to do a whole riverbank I think you need to find a cheaper technique for that in this week's episode the mini cathies and attack of the deadly bulrushes Squid. Tune in next week to see if the bulrushes get any more vicious and exciting. Well, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. If you do, subscribe to me on YouTube or on my website, kathymillett.co.uk. Alternatively, like me on Facebook, Kathy Millett Modelling. <laughs>